Welcome to Aurora Chemistry for everyone. Let us see how to draw the structure of 1 bromo 4 secondary butyl 2 methyl benzene. To write the structure from the IUPAC name, we always remember to draw that format which contains root, prefix, and suffix. First, if we fill this format, then after that, drawing the structure is very easy. So, here in the root, if you see that benzene, so benz and the suffix is ENE, benz and ENE, that means double bond, alternate double bond is present in the benzene. Now, if we come to the prefix, we also have that three prefixes here, one bromo, four secondary butyl, two methyl. So, in the first position, we have bromine and in the second position, we have methyl group, CH3 group and in the fourth position, we have that secondary butyl. So, to know that secondary butyl. First, what is primary and secondary? You know that the carbon, isn't it? The carbon, if it is attached to the only one carbon, then we call them as a primary carbon. And if it is attached to two other carbon, for example, the middle carbon, if you see, this is attached to the left side also on carbon, on the right side also another carbon. So, this carbon we call as a secondary carbon. So, here we have that secondary butyl. So, butyl means we know that there are four carbon atoms. So, that means one more carbon also it must be there. This secondary carbon must attach to the benzene ring. So, first let us draw the benzene ring. Let us number in first 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. In the first carbon we have that bromine. Then in the second carbon, we have methyl group, CH3 group and in the fourth carbon, we have that secondary butyl. So, secondary butyl, so this carbon must attach to here and that here another carbon and that C, C. Now, we can fill that carbon valency. Here CH3, then this carbon is already attached to benzene ring. So, only one hydrogen atom, then here CH2 then CH3. So, this is the structure of 1 bromo 4 secondary butyl 2 methyl benzene. Thanks for watching.